Hello everybody and welcome back to Nuclear Throne. We are back again and we are jumping in as Mr. YV himself. Starting off with the laser machine gun. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. Let's jump on in and see if we can get a good run going. Of course, yesterday we were playing a lot as melting and I have to say, I had a pretty hard time. Um, <laughs> I wasn't doing too well. I thought the extra mutes would really, really help me out. But turns out what they ended up doing instead is made the mutes that you need to survive a lot harder to get. <laughs> like there's, there's a few really good mutes like Nerves of Steel and stuff, but like getting Rhino skin and um, and what's the other one that saves your life was kind of hard. Let's take condensed meat here. The smaller hitbox is pretty nice. Um, yeah, it was kind of hard and it, it kind of went sort of the opposite of how I thought it was going to end up going. I really thought we were going to have a much, much easier time playing as um, as melting, but it in turn kind of made the early game hard. I mean, late game, I think once you get those good mutes, you have a much easier time, but getting those mutes is just nowhere near as, uh, as reliable as it normally is. Um, what do we get here? I'm going to take a slugger. Why not? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I wanted that scorpion boy. Heck. I wanted that scorpion boy. But laser machine gun here is absolutely fantastic. I think it's three bullets per shot, so it's not exactly cheap to, to use here, but it, it is pretty nice. Ah, I just pop popped and missed. Now that's upsetting. There you go, he's dead. I'm going to say, using a few pop-pops on that guy, very, very easy going. But this is the sort of golden weapon that we don't want to change. This this one is really good. And it actually pairs pretty well with YV's pop-pop as well for killing bigger enemies. So, even better on that side of things. Um, but yeah, condensed meat here, having the smaller hitbox. As you can see, there's a small, small little dot on top of my player model. That's my condensed meat, um, like, hitbox. So, we should, be ha we should have a better time. And I'm going to take magazine fingers. I think... Back muscle versus magazine fingers is a very difficult choice to make. I think late game back muscles is better, but early game uh, magazine fingers is definitely better because you literally get 50% ammo from all sources, both chests and props. And it's insane how strong that is. Like if you're using energy weapons especially, or even like crossbows and stuff, that ammo is so valuable and it's so nice to get so much of it. Uh, we're going to use the Arby's launcher here and just crack this open. Make sure I get all my rads over here. Um, yeah, that's exactly what I was looking for before we left. Uh, shall I stick with the Arby's launcher? I'm not sure. I've not decided. We'll find out. Um, hmm, we have some good stuff here. Probably best to go with the Prismic Iris. Uh, and let's go with... Let's go with Charge this time. We don't usually use Charge that often. Um, and of course, that won't work with our um, with our merged weapon, which is unfortunate because it's uh, not part of the same mod. It's part of Death Pack. But yeah, that's, that's unfortunate. But I think honestly, uh, I will take it back anyways. Uh, and do you know what? Actually, let's. Um, okay, don't want to don't want to do that. D don't don't do that. The game does not like it when I do that. Let's just destroy it normally. Oh, hello, portal monster. Got him. Got him with a pop pop. Pop pop, the stainless steel. That guy who wrote that, DMX, well, wrote that, uh, he sang that, DMX, he's, he died recently. That was upsetting to find out. I'm not, I'm not going to say that I'm a massive fan or anything, but, like, it's still, like, not great to find out. Okay, so we shouldn't have too hard of a time against these enemies, and ammo, like I said, shouldn't be a concern for us pretty much at all. Um, while we're in this floor. Oh, there's so many of them. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Hey, look. It's cool guy. I really hope, like, multiple people have gone and looked at that cool guy video. Uh, because it's still... Do you know what? I'm actually going to stick with the slugger. I mean, I'm enjoying the slugger. We use splinter weapons too often. Um, yeah, I really hope people have, since I mentioned that last, have gone and had a look at cool guy. I know at least one or two people have, but... <laughs> If you haven't, just search It's Cool Guy on YouTube and have some disturbing nightmares. It's great. And it turns out, so when I last spoke about it, which was a few weeks ago now, I went and searched on YouTube. I gotta, go, I gotta go watch that again. It's a classic. I haven't seen it in a while. It turns out there's like, like like three more of them since I last watched it. I mean, definitely the original's the best one, but they're still really good. I just really like the music. Hey, it's cool guy. Uh, what we got here? Uh, let's take extra rads. We definitely don't need the ammo, so. Uh, these guys, I'm not really sure if we're going to be super well equipped for them. I'm really hoping the this sluger here 
fuck. I was really hoping Slugger would pop pop. Was gonna do it for us. The yes, it is. Good, 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 good. I am hearing. Oh my god. I always forget that he does this. And these enemies ain't easy either. Like, something you gotta remember. I really hate leaving this boss to last, because this boss can one shot you. And it fucking scares the ever living shit out of me. Oh no. We're in one shot territory right now. There we go, you! I killed you! Ah. <laughs> I was like, okay, we're, clo we're, we're quite close to her here. This is definitely one shot territory. And then it's like, okay. Okay, thanks, Kim. <laughs> I see where your your uh, priorities lie. God damn it. Pop, pop with the stainless steel. Right. Just carry on. Let's let's uh, let's forget about that. You, I mean, I always know when going to that area that you take a bit of a risk. It's not as if we had the best mutes anyways. I'm not going to cry about it. Um... Yeah, we've got a shotgun, so I'll take uh, I'll take powdered gums. Uh, powered gums, sorry, I always call it powdered gums. I actually like um, powdered gums quite a lot. I think it's very, very strong, even with the base shotgun. So essentially, it turns your shotgun kind of into like a a super fast, like projectile speed, long range slugger. Kind of, it's very strange. It it works very in a very weird way, but I very much like it. It's uh it's very unique and different, and it's a uh, very cool thing. The only thing I don't like about it is it doesn't play nice with some mutes from other mods. But then again, I can't really complain about some mutation mods not having cross compatibility. Especially considering some of them are a lot older than others. This being one of them. Um, let's go get our scorpion this time. I'm going to have that in my head all fucking day now. Hey, it's cool guy. Uh, ooh, chance to duplicate shots or shots bounce further. Both of these are great, but chance to duplicate shots. It works for if we if we end up pivoting away from using shotguns, it works really well. And it just works really well with shotguns because uh, I think each pellet can count towards that. Definitely want some ammo there. We got hit, apparently. I don't know when. Uh, let's use this. This thing with uh, the chance to fire extra shots also is, is really, really good. I do not like the situation that we have found ourselves in here. I'm going to have to take a risk here. Okay, good. It worked out. I had to just run straight past Big Bandit and hope he didn't kill me. Fuck, 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 fuck. Oh my god. I got saved by something or other. Okay, honestly, my little buddy, my little scorpion fella is absolutely killing it right now. Boom. You're done now. Right, let's go. Uh, let's see. Okay, so Shattered Skull. Shell split into more shells when they're fired. This is the one that doesn't really la uh, work right. But I'm still going to pick it up and give it a go. Because I think that it does work. But the bullets just travel so fast, you don't get to see it working. But I think it does work. It just is very... The way that it works is kind of weird. But I think it does work. It just ups the projectile speed to, like, insane levels, so it's really, really hard to visualize what's actually being changed, which is fine. Okay, don't, don't do that, you stupid shithead. Um, ooh, I love that. I wish I, I wish there was a, a, a mute that added toxic community. I know there is one in one of the packs that I don't have. I should probably maybe look into getting that one. Uh, that was a very short stage. Fair enough. Ba -dum -bum -ba -dum -bum -bum -ba -dum. Right. Grab you, grab you. And you, and you. Ooh, a little bit of, little bit of spicy healing. Ooh, the chemo saver. I'll definitely take that. I think it's a little bit better than what we've got going on right now. Chance to fire extra shots makes this thing even better. With maybe like an accuracy up with it though. This thing tends to be pretty bad on the accuracy side of things. But yeah, I just love these mutes because they make they make what ordinarily would be kind of crappy shotguns really good. Like the, the base shotgun by this stage is normally pretty terrible. I'm not gonna lie. I wish crows didn't work the way they did. God damn you, crows. Nobody likes you. We'd definitely like some ammo for this uh, for this shotgun, though. At the minute, we're not doing too well on the ammo front. Oh, you bastard. Yep. Ah, uh, well, it doesn't... We don't need ammo for it anymore, because we're dead. Oh, my God. I just... I play it... 
I mean, I know that literally all of you know this by now. Anyone that's watching this series regularly, which is actually quite a lot of you, so I do appreciate all of you that are watching. Uh, this is one of the series that does better on my channel, and it's very nice to see that it's still going strong, even uh, even 60-something episodes in. Um, uh, no, no! <laughs> I missed it. Uh, it's, still, it's still nice to see that it's still going strong, but um, yeah, I'm sure almost everyone knows this by now, but... Almost all of my deaths can be attributed to me playing this game way too fast paced, like at breakneck speeds. Like I recently actually, um, I did a bit of a collaboration with a guy called Two Left Thumbs on YouTube who does just fantastic um, let's plays, but also he does amazing, uh, like really detailed history of games and like Easter egg finding videos, which are really, really good. And he recently did one about the history of the Binding of Isaac with the release of Repentance. It's kind of it came about time for it to be uh, a good one to go for. Mm. Let's go with that. Uh, yeah, uh, and it came about time with Repentance to do a History of Either video. It was fantastic. I recommend you all go and watch it on his channel, Two Left Thumbs. Um, but he also actually contacted me and asked to use some of my gameplay from my Isaac series in his video because he didn't really have any runs himself to the final boss and I had a good few of them, so get a few to pick from. So he actually used my gameplay. Um, and now I can't remember the point of the story I was trying to tell, uh, but, oh, that was it. Um, and, and he was saying to me, he was talking to me about, about the, uh, the gameplay of the video and he's like, I can't believe it. I was watching you play and you just play so fast and loose. Like you just, you're so crazy the way that you play the game. I'm like, I'm so slow and methodical. It's like, yep. I play every game like that. It's most of the time my absolute demise, but I I really love playing games just way too fast for my own good. It, it it's, it's almost always the thing that gets me killed, um, but it, it definitely leads to the most fun. We'll take the knife thrower here. Um, do you know what? Let's take let's take bouncy neurons. Um, we don't have a bullet weapon that actually works with um with the prismic eye yet, but. We do get bouncy bullets with this, at least. Excuse me, you little shit. This is still really good with bouncy. And now you can more clearly see how it fires three bullets. Can you stop? I'd, I'd like to find an actual bullet weapon that'll work with, um, with the Prismic Iris, though. That would be very nice. Stop it with the heckin' poison, please. Flame shotgun, do you know what? I'm gonna take that. Bum, bum, ba -dum, bum, bum, ba -dum. I'm gonna go for the whole the whole fire build. Let's pop that before it causes any issues. Okay, it's all cleared up. I'm I'm always super cautious now with these barrels, because oh my god do I kill myself on the tiny little pixel of fucking toxic that I don't even see. Very much would like ammo. Game oh there's another one of them. Oh shit. Okay, good stuff. Right, um, Recover some of your ammo when firing. Um, we, let's go with the Gang Regenerator. Basically, when we take damage, we'll recover some of that health back. So if we take three damage, we, we might get one back. It's pretty good, honestly. It's pretty useful. We're definitely uh, low on the ammo side of things at the minute, which is not good. Flame Shotgun's helping us out, honestly, quite a lot. You gotta stop, boys. You gotta stop. Uh, ooh, double the healing is very good stuff there. Uh, up to maximum HP. Now, once we're up to maximum HP, especially if you can get Rhino skin, the Gamut Regenerator thing is way more effective. Yeah, I'm just gonna play again a little bit fast and loose. Oh my god. Oh, darling. That was a bit saucy. Oh, damn it. We, um... We, we only only got up to level 47 here. Ah, oh, we have a, another fire shotgun here. Although, this looks different. Okay. No, this is this is a bouncer shotgun with fire. This is the best. This is meant this is meant to be a bouncy shotgun. This is great. Right, let, let me take this. Okay, this is this is something that I like. Oh, we got the uh, the bayonet shotgun again. Uh, I guarantee this doesn't work with uh, this yet, yeah, because it's meant to be shotgun shells, isn't it, so that's fine. But, this, however, is pretty good. I like this quite a lot. This appeals to me. Although, recover some ammo when shot would be really good with this. I wish I'd have taken that now. Okay, we're well, good. Weaponry, weaponry, what do you hold? Nothing good. 
Right, um... So, Nerves of Steel here is pretty fucking good. I think Nerves of Steel, Nerves of Steel is going to help out a lot. Basically, this means we can only ever take two damage in a single hit, because we get half the health back. So we, we can take four damage in one hit, but we'll get half of that back. It's a really good combo. Okay, we're all out of ammo. Kind of expected that. Okay, two bullets there. But yeah, that's going to be really, really good for survivability here. Oh, there's a crystal. Fuck you, crystals. Crystals are the worst. Okay, we did manage to hit the crystal there. Like I said, the crystal's going to be a pain in the ass. Oh, hello. Got one of you. Is there, is there more? I think that might be the only one. Um, plasma bounce good. I've not seen that before. Just don't, don't get hit by too much of this bullshit. Oh my god. There is a lot of this bullshit. Seemingly a lot of this bullshit. What is this? Ooh. Ooh. That's kind of saucy. I think I'll take that. Oh my god, they're still bouncing? This fucking enemy! They suck dick! Just stop doing what you're doing. Okay. I think we definitely want to go for Rabbit's Paw here. Getting more health drops is going to be super pivotal. Okay, nice one. This fucking... This thing seems like it's going to be great. Like, just fucking pop a few of these off. Have them bouncing around. This seems like it's definitely from the gun bucket. This seems like a gun bucket weapon if I've ever seen one. Gun bucket is like the newest released weapon mod. And you can kind of tell that these are new. Fire sniper rifle. That sounds pretty amazing. Let's just see how this is with... Pretty good. I'll have to take the bouncer though. It's, it's too good. It's too fun. Um, right. We're good to go, right? We're good to go. That was a crazy one. You've got Nurse of Steel. That's right. I do game. Thank you for noticing. Oh, damn. Took a little bit of damage there, but it's okay. It's all right. This is insanely good. It did take a bit of damage off of that guy there. Right. Hello. Good, good. Can you kind of stop right there from the Oh my god, there's so many of these guys that throw the fucking shit everywhere. I can hear the saw blades going off everywhere. It's scaring me. Can you stop with the saw blades, sir? This is a very good setup we have going on right now. Like both weaponry and mutations, we have some really good stuff. We are pretty hard to kill at the minute. It requires multiple things hitting us in a row in very quick succession. Um, Wrath. Shotgun shells bounce further. I think we gotta just go for condensed meat, make us a little harder to hit. Grab you. I think we'll go up this way now and get some bouncers in there. Yes, yes. Got ourselves the auto slugger? No, super slugger. Uh, I'm not I'm not too bothered with super slugger right now. Like I said, I'm pretty happy with the stuff I've got going on. I am gonna end up activating this uh this thing, by the way. I kind of realized that. I'm just gonna destroy it straight away. Yeah. This is great. I love I I love uh, I love weaponry that like allows you the fire storm. Ooh. That's I'm gonna take that as my second. It's so difficult. Should I I think this is better. I think this is better. I wanna go for the full-on fire build. Yeah, I'll go for full on fire build. It's so hard to decide. Because basically I'm banking on the fact of getting something that, that allows me to, to destroy bullets with fire. There's, there's one mutation that allows me to do that and it would work so well with what we've got currently going on. Right, just remember that next stage is the boss. Things get a little harder next stage and if we don't clear out a good area quick, the boss is going to kill us. Uh, and we've got to remember as well, I think the boss spawns based on a timer of like how many enemies you've killed. So that's another big factor. So clearing out a big old space here is real important for us. And it seems like we've done a, a 
perfectly fine job of that already. Here he is. Killed him the things. Also, I think this is going to be really good for taking him out. I have to say. Because the fire is going to have a really easy time hitting him. We got him. Just got to not die to the explosion. Yeah, the fire had a real easy time hitting him then. Holy hell. That was like way better than I was actually expecting. Uh, let's grab this and see what's in here. Plasma gun, I'm not that bothered. We got ourselves a fire minigun. Pretty awesome. Still think what we've got going on is a little better. Okay, nice. Good to go. Right, next stage we'll get some mutes. This stage should be pr pretty easy, I'm thinking. Uh, the only thing that can kill us really is the guys that run into you and explode. They are pretty difficult to, uh, to deal with if they spawn in front of you. There's really not much you can do to stop them. We got that portal monster dead in like 0.5 of a second there, which is pretty awesome. But these guys, of course, as you can see, just, they basically get annihilated. There's nothing they can stop us. There's one of the explodey boys coming right at us. Okay, we got a, a reviver dude. Really? That was... Oh, that was a shame. That was an absurdly quick death. Um, I I kind of got telefragged. I mean, honestly, it wasn't it wasn't really a bad telefrag. Like I I could have just moved out the way, but I I just didn't. <laughs> uh, they got they got summoned onto me, and I kind of thought that because I'd like just recently killed them, they weren't gonna get instantly summoned again. Of course, I was wrong. But then again, it's kind of cool to see that I'm still learning new stuff about this game. Um, even now, I know that that new one was founded on me dying. But it's still nice to learn new things. Um, yeah, so apparently, they have no sort of timing between when they can respawn them. Because they kind of insta-respawn them again. Unless it was maybe two of the uh, summoners back-to-back -back respawning them. And that's what happened. Which is probably more reasonable. But as I said, like, I, I was, I was very hard to kill unless I got hit really fast in quick succession. And that is exactly what killed me. I got hit really fast in quick succession by contact damage. But again, getting, uh, getting Gamma Guts is harder. It's harder now. Gamma Guts makes that stage really easy and it's a, it's a lot harder to come across. Uh, honestly, uh, let's go for the same thing again, but let's go with, let's go with Charge this time. And as I, uh, as I say it, it comes to pass. I like Prismic Irish runs, they're fun. Also, the, the lightning is really strong. Good, good. Lots of rads this stage. Oh my god, just the AoE that's going on right now is fantastic. It's good as well, because if you miss, you can still hit. <laughs> Even if you hit a wall just behind him or hit an enemy next to him, still hits the target. Great amount of rads there. What we're we looking for. Honestly, Rhino skin, we haven't seen it yet today. I don't think at least I might have passed up on it once or twice. Probably not though. Um, it's pretty fucking good to grab. Kind of a cornerstone of most good runs, to be honest. But yeah, I'm liking the variety of all the new mutations because obviously it just means runs are a bit more varied. Certain weapon types are a lot more viable than they used to be. Uh, and it's a lot more enjoyable to use certain things. Like but even just bullet weapons are a lot more viable now. Um, and yeah, it also means that runs don't feel the same and wins aren't as easy. Because you may think, oh, more mutes, more power. But no, in fact, more mutes actually makes the game slightly more difficult. Because yes, it does buff certain play styles, but it makes specific defensive things and um, even if the new mutes added are really good defensively, it makes specific defensive things harder to get, like Rhino Skin and uh, Strong Spirit are not not as guaranteed. I'd say you, you're pretty guaranteed to get one or the other pretty much every run in base Nuclear Throne, and now that's like nowhere near the case. There is probably more modded mutes than there is base game mutes now. We should be good to go with this stage. Let's grab that. Took a little bit of bad damage here, but mostly we're fine. A few assassins down there. Let's just blow this up. Kill them all. And see what we get. Didn't get to see what our weapon was there. 
Up to level 5, though. Doing well. Um, I'm going to go for Crystal Growths here because we have a lot more maximum HP. Clam Shield, honestly, let's take Clam Shield. Clam Shield's pretty good. Okay, we're, I gotta say, we're definitely gonna activate this. I knew that. I don't care about going there, though, so. I would like my uh, my Crystalline Growth to proc, please. Give me a single Crystalline Growth. There you go. Oh, there's another one there. Nice. Okay. That's good stuff. There's one as well. Okay, very nice. Grab that. Oh, no, there was a fire spitter there. Good stuff. We are plummeting through the stages here. Would definitely like a better bullet weapon. That would definitely make my day. Get rid of all these cars before we take too much damage. Okay, big, big boys here. Didn't realize. Ammo is a concern right now. Um, we're, we're slowly but surely running out. The crows are a concern right now because they're massive shitheads and have no place in this world. Take your bad feather and bitch beaks out of my house. You dumb fools. Oh, that was spicy. I had to just run in there. With reckless abandon. Oh, why didn't I just get my shield out then? That was so stupid. That would have been the easiest and most opportune time to just get out my shield. Also, going to the next stage with just three bullets. Uh, let's go with that. It's pretty good. Yeah, this isn't going to be great. Considering this shield is mainly defensive. Oh my god, this is, this is hell on earth. These enemies, there's so many of them. I'm going to have to take this. What in, the, what in the fuck did I pick up here? What is this? This is bizarre. I genuinely have no idea what weapon I picked up here. It is the laser launcher. New to me. Seems pretty good though, honestly. It seems to be one-shotting some harder enemies. Right, we managed to get a few of these big boys to heck off. There we go, good stuff, good stuff. Wasn't too bad at all, I'm gonna take this laser launcher, it seems good. Archaeology. Young Padawan. Good, good, good. Ah, oh, Gamma Guts, thank you. <laughs> gamma Guts saved my life. Oh, Gamma Guts saved my life. Oh, the triple. The triple. Yeah, this seems great. It's like a safe grenade launcher. I love it. Okay, you need to stop, boys. Y'all need to... Y'all need to think about your actions. Give me that scrap. Extra ten bullets. Nice. And we throw that at you to stop you throwing the car at me. What the hell? The Lil, Lil Deva? Lil Diva? What the hell was that? Um, ooh, duplicating bullets. Real good. Lil Deva. Ooh, what the fuck is this? I love it. Whatever it is, I love it. I want to keep it forever. My baby. Whatever it is, I love it. Ionizer. Okay, this is not a energy, uh, a thingy weapon that I thought it was. I need my laser assault rifle. Can you stop with the with the stupid, stupid shit? Rebarber. I don't know what the difference between a normal bow and this is. We'll find out on another episode, I'm sure. Go away before you fill up. Thank you. Give me my rads back. Again with you. Stop. There's so many of them. Stop throwing saw blades, you shitheads. Find a new hobby. Mega disc gun. Beautiful. 
But this thing, little Dever. <laughs> it's the little Devastator, I think, it, what is what it's meant to be. And I love it. It's the best. It's kind of funny because there's a there's a like a sketch show thing in the UK where a guy called Dever pretends to be a, a, a UK champ. And it reminds me of that. Also, this is this is straight up nightmare fuel right now. I do not like the position I've put myself in, I have to say. Stop moving, you stupid shithead. Little Devastate is the best thing ever. Don't know how long it's going to take to kill this guy. We don't have great AoE for, I imagine, a while. Luckily, he provides us with plentiful ammo. There we go. We got him. We got him. A little bit saucy, but we got him. And we level up as well. What we're getting this time. Not great stuff, honestly. I guess we take condensed meat again for the safety, but not great stuff. Okay, so we do have Gamma Guts this time, so the Explosive Boys are our only super big threat. In fact, we really should try to avoid using ammo on anything else. Auto Flamethrower Shotgun! Okay, that, that was me being dumb. I'm surprised I lived through that. That was just me straight up face tanking some shots. That I shouldn't have face tanked. We could still die here. Let's just slip by me, little fella. Where is the last enemy? Where are you hiding, little fella? Oh, there's way more. Okay. Little Devastator is fucking amazing, right? I love this thing. Secret in the walls. Oh fuck. Oh, big, big dog's on us. Big dog's on us, and we can't kill him. Fuck me. It's scary. We are not doing as much damage as I would like to be doing. Honestly, little Dever, you're good, you're cool, but I think we need more damage. We're going to go with this thing. Grabby, grabby. Oh, shit. You stay there. Thank you. Is that it? Okay, the Kaboomerang. I have died to that before. I will not be taking that right now. Where are you? Why are you chilling? Oh, hello. You made your way back down to exactly where I just was. Oh my god, this is gonna be hard. Okay, that was that was pretty awesome. That did a great job. It used a hell of a lot of ammo. This is a great job. We're not getting any ammo back for it either, which is even worse. Oh, the dogs. The dogs. The dogs. The dogs are barking. Please, no. Thank you. Thunder shotgun. Rain ball launcher. Oh! What in the fuck was that? <laughs> oh, that's amazing. I love that, but it's it's so dangerous. Maybe I'll keep it. Maybe I'll keep it. I'm gonna take a risk. I'm gonna keep it. It seems cool. The rain ball launcher. Hello. Um Yes. Gimme gimme. Right. 
Scary, scary times. Um, lucky shot seems good for now. Plasma gun, no thank you. Right, let's let's give this a go, shall we? What have you got for me? What have you got for me? Unfortunately, we've literally still got an assault rifle, which is pathetic, but hey her. That's just the way it is. That's just the way it is. Right, let's fire a, a good old shot in here. Okay, it's doing a great job against these, I'll say that. Wow, it one-shot him. <laughs> it literally one-shot him. I have never, ever seen a weapon one-shot that boss before, I have to say. Probably not going to do anywhere near as well against this dude. I'd imagine. Unless it explodes directly on top of him, which it's actually doing a good job of right now. My god, this thing's amazing. <laughs> I love this thing. Holy hell. We definitely need a better other weapon there. Oh my goodness. It's clearing out space for us. In a major way. Oh my god, it killed everything. Right, hopefully this will yield, um... You stop. Yeah, thank you. Excuse me, get out from under there. Right, knife thrower, quartz. We can't take the quartz one because you get hit, you lose the quartz weaponry. So that's not a great, it's not a great choice, I have to say. The jump gun. I don't know what this does, but I'm going to take it. Actually, what, what am I on about? Right, okay. So let's have a little look-see. Uh, high rate of fire, free pop-pop upgrade, all ammo usage is halved, or decide your future. we got to go with dollar-dollar. All ammo usage is halved is insane. Oh, wait. Do we not get taken to the, uh, to the place where we get all the guns? I have to say, I like this. This thing only using five ammo per shot is pretty absurd. Also, the fact that every now and again we fire two of them at once is pretty awesome. This is amazing. It seems to be jump gun, like, gives us ammo back when we hit things. Unless that's just the all ammo usage is half thing. Look, we fired two of them. Oh, damn. I got hit, like, real hard then by something. I don't actually know what it was. But I am scared for my life. Get some crystalline growth up in here. Thank you. God, I hate these dudes. Fuck me. Oh, I was like, nope, I'm going to die. <laughs> Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. That was pretty awesome with the disco gun there. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.